Hi, I'm Wendy Gardner and I'm going to demo this really nifty little gadget, the micro stitch. Now this is really, really useful. You use this instead of hand tacking, gluing or pinning. Particularly useful when you're working on quilts on which you've got your backing, your wadding and also your top. So you layer it all up. Now I'm only working on a tiny little piece, so this is really good when you're working on big quilts. And you start in the centre and work out. So this is what you're going to get. You're going to get your nice little gun, your little stapley gun, and you get the pins as well. Now you'll get quite a few pins. We've, this is our studio sample, so we've used quite a lot. So it comes easy to open and then pack back up again, which is quite handy. It does come with a nice little cap to go on the blade. Uh, ours has uh, gone walkabouts because we're using it constantly. It has black or white pins. So if you're working on a dark fabric, you might want to use the white ones so that they're clear. And the idea is that you tack them in with this gun and then when you've done your quilting and you can quilt over them, you can then just snip them all off. So it's easy to put together. There are instructions inside when you open that up you'll see there are instructions on how to do it all, which are quite handy. So the first thing to do is you put in the little pins. And I'm just putting them in the slot and pushing it down. You can kind of feel a click. You take off the cap, if there's the cap on there, and then just holding it up away from the table or away from the surface, push the, the sort of needle through and then pull the trigger. And there you, so it's tiny, Tiny little one, then you see it's got a clip. Push it through, clip. Push it through, clip. That is how quick and easy it is to basically tack your layers together. So really lovely and easy. As I say, if you're working on a big quilt, I would start in the centre and work out, just as you would if you were pinning or tacking, where you start in the centre and work out in lines, and that's all you're doing here. And then once you've quilted your whole piece, you need to take these out. And the easiest way to take them out is not to use a great big pair of scissors, but I haven't got a small embroidery scissors to hand. Just lifting it away from the surface and snipping, and it's dropping out. Now that's taking the top out. Of course, what's happened with that is actually, it's actually gone through because it's a double-sided one. So what you have on the underside is exactly the same thing. A little, tiny, like a T-shape left. So that will also come off the back as well. So if I just, I'm gonna just show you a dark one, just so you can see it on the back. So again, just to reiterate, you push it in, it tells you how it's got a sort of circular pointy bit into the circle, till you hear it kind of click, and then push the needle through, pull the trigger, needle through, pull the trigger. And you can do that as much as you need to to hold your layers together. And as you can see on the underside, you've got exactly the same. You've got these little tiny tags. Once you've done your quilting, you can just snip those off. As I said, I would actually probably use embroidery scissors. That takes them off the bottom and then you can just pull them off the top as well. Nice little job to do when you're sitting, watching your TV, have a lap tray underneath and then all the underside ones can drop on the lap tray and you can pick them all off. So it's a really quick, easy way to baste your quilts together. You can use it for applique, uh, you can use it to attach things to craft projects. It's got lots of uses and it comes with black and white pins. <laughs>